You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early weekly spoilers for May 27th through 31st. And of course, we've got the very sad fallout from Gregory Chase's death that was supposed to be a surprise, but I think we all saw the writing on the wall. We have a lot of stuff to talk about for the end of this week and into next week for these early spoilers. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates, and let's dive right in. And if you're a regular here, you know that with early edition spoilers, we talk through what's happening the rest of this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just to give you some context for these early spoilers. With that in mind, we step into the action on Wednesday, May 22nd on General Hospital. We have Alexis totally stunned. She is in court with Diane, ready to present her case. She demands to see her accuser, and her accuser is Fergus Burns. The character debuts. He is the brother of her ex lover, the other burn, the shrink that she was sleeping with. And um, yeah, he wants her law license taken because he blames her for his brother's death. We also have Dex telling Michael that now is the time that they can shut Sonny down for good. Remember, they were conspiring to take Sonny down and then Michael changed his mind. But after, you know, Sonny, Sonny's recent behavior and the way he's treating Jason and the way he's treating Carly, and now he's beaten Dex half to death, will Michael change his tune? I I'm excited to see. Dante warns Sonny they're still having their very tense conversation tomorrow or actually today, and he's not going to cover for him. And I think Dante's not buying this story that he was defending himself. He's pretty sure that Sonny started it and attacked Dex. And Ava Jerome gets some important information on Wednesday. I'm guessing this is her following the trail of the pills. And Elizabeth Weber is alarmed. And of course, this is about Finn and his mental state after his dad's death. And Finn on Wednesday has to tell Violet that her granddad is gone. She's absolutely devastated that she did not get to say goodbye to him. And Christina makes someone an offer. She is busy trying to cover up Sonny's mess. Thursday, May 23rd, we've got Ava there comforting Sonny with tea and sympathy. He is being shunned all over town, but she is going to pet him and make him feel better and tell him Dex had it coming. You know she's going to. Meanwhile, Christina shares her darkest fear with someone, and that might be that her dad does something bad to cause her to lose the baby. I wonder if that's her darkest fear. Carly is very vague when Anna wants answers from her, and I wonder if Carly has been to see Brennan again, either back at Pentonville in like a flashback before he shanked himself, or maybe over at General Hospital. Gio Palmieri is still in town. He's the hunky young violinist that plays at the wedding and I wonder if he's going to be flirting with Trina or if it's some other kind of move like moving to Port Charles since it's a very vague spoiler and it's time for Alexis to present her case and hope for the best while Fergus Byrne is gunning for her still. Friday, May 24th on the soap, we've got Liz very worried. She's got just a bad feeling that she can't shake. And I wonder if she is sensing that something is deeply off with Finn over and above grief. I wonder if she is going to confront him and he's going to confess about the, the drinking. We'll see. Portia Robinson is torn about something. So I don't know. I don't know if this is a Dex and Sunny thing or if this is one of the other bits of drama in her life. Cody and Stella offer comfort and support to Tracy Quartermain. So I'm suspecting that Tracy is either up at the hospital or comes to the hospital once she hears what happens with Gregory. Cody's obviously there. Stella works at the hospital and Tracy's going to be crushed. You know, she really liked him. And I think she thought that they did have some more time to be their friendship, you know, and Molly and TJ are out on a date night 
And I wonder if word is going to reach them about Sonny's assault at the wedding and ruin their meal and spark a whole new conversation about whether or not he is indeed dangerous to their child. And then that takes us to the week of May 27th through the 31st. It is time to plan Gregory Chase's funeral, his memorial, as word spreads that he passed. Obviously, Brooklyn Quartermain and her hubby Detective Chase have to delay their honeymoon to say their farewells to his dad. And Ava keeps following breadcrumbs from the pharmacist over to Valentine, but she's heading into dangerous waters because she doesn't know that he is already on to her and is already watching her and exactly how dangerous that he is right now. Sonny's spiral just keeps amplifying. He is, he hit the bottom of the barrel and now he's just digging. Like it just gets worse and worse. He has now also lost Christina and alienated Dante. And the question is who's left for him? Really just Ava at this point. I mean, Carly was being nice to him the other night, but he's clearly unhinged. And Ava's the only one who is not challenging him, who's being a yes person, who's saying, oh, you're right, you know, blah, blah, blah. And of course, he's going to keep falling for that because he feels like everybody else has turned on him. A Lexus law license hearing concludes. And I do think she is going to get her license back. But I think Neil Byrne's brother, Fergus Byrne, may stick around. He may keep plaguing her and just, you know, trying to get revenge on behalf of his brother. Nina Reeves gets in deeper with Drew Kane. I'm still waiting on them to have sex in an actual bed instead of, a you know, on the desk with sticky notes clinging to them. And at the same time, Drew is still flirting with Jordan, which is very interesting because if she finds out he has been flirting with her and in bed with Nina, that may not go well. And honestly, Nina may not like him flirting with Jordan, even though they are still being, you know, hateful to each other. <laughs> but I do like their chemistry. I like Drew and Nina both a lot more now that they're together, to be honest. And I wonder if Natalia is also going to shun Sonny when she hears what he did and whether she might order Blaze to stay away from Christina to break up with her because her father is such a dangerous mobster. Sam and Spinelli are determined to crack this issue for Jason and erase the Carly tape that the FBI is using to blackmail him. And Jason and Anna keep trying to figure out how to shut down Pikeman while protecting Carly while she is just making a bigger target of herself. I wonder if Brennan might escape from General Hospital and we are going to see Dante increasingly torn about his dad's behavior and escalating violence next week. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see. Definitely subscribe if you haven't and come back soon because we are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.